Good morning, fourth graders. Today we're going to be talking about static electricity. Now the first thing you need to know when learning about static electricity is, what is electricity? Well, electricity is a form of energy produced when electrons move from one place to another. Now we learned about this earlier in the year. What is an electron? It is part of an atom. An atom is the smallest piece of a substance that can't be broken down anymore. So an electron, if you'll remember, has a negative charge. So when electrons move around, that means certain things are going to be charged in different ways. Here we have an idea of what an atom might look like. Here in the middle we have some protons, which if you remember, protons have positive charge. On the outside, we have some electrons, and if you remember, electrons have a negative charge. Here we have three protons, and we also have three electrons. This means the charges are balanced out because we have three positives and three negatives. And so, each positive and each negative will cancel each other out. Now, atoms are in everything. I think that you might be able to remember a time when you've been shocked by something. Have you ever touched something metal, maybe a car door handle or a metal pole, and it gave you a little bit of a shock. Well, this is the result of static electricity. So, why would you get shocked? How does that happen? Well, that has to do with the electrons moving from one thing to another. So things gain and lose electrons. One good example of this is something that you've probably done with your friends. Have you ever been in a room with a carpet and you rubbed your feet against that carpet and then went and touched a friend and it shocked them? Well, that is a result of the electrons moving from the carpet to your feet. That way, you are negatively charged so that when you touch a positively charged person who hasn't rubbed their foot against the carpet, it shocks them because it transfers the electrons back to them. Usually, the longer you rub your foot against the carpet, the bigger the shock. That's because you picked up more electrons the longer that you rubbed your foot against the carpet. Therefore, there was even more electrons to be transferred back to the person. One important idea that we have to learn about when learning about static electricity is that some charges attract and some charges repel. Charges that attract means that two items come together. And if two charges repel, that means two charges push apart. Now, charges attract when they are unlike charges, and charges repel when they are like charges. Here we have an example of two different charges that are repelling. Here we have two protons, and because they are like charges, they repel or pull apart from each other. Here we have two electrons, and because those electrons are the same charge, they also repel each other or pull apart from each other. Here we have an example of charges that attract. These charges are unlike charges. Here we have a proton, and here we have an electron. So those charges have a positive and negative charge. Since they are unlike, they are drawn together. This is an important idea for static electricity. Because when two things attract, that's what we really think of when we think of static electricity. Have you ever rubbed a balloon against your hair and then pulled it off? Your hair starts to stick to the balloon. That's because when you rub together the balloon and your hair, the electrons in your hair transfer to the balloon and your hair is left with a positive charge. Because your hair is positively charged, and the balloon is negatively charged, those are two unlike charges, and so they attract. Because your hair <laughs> attracts to the balloon, that's why when you start to pull it off, it still stays on. Now we talked about electricity and what that means, the transfer of electrons from one place to another. But what is static electricity? We gave some examples, but now let's go over a definition. Static electricity is the buildup of electric charges on an object. Now, what does that mean? Well, when something builds up, that means a lot of it is stuck in one place. So, in this case, that means 
when electrons transfer from one object to another, they get built up on one object, which means that the charges are different. Because all the electrons go from one object to another, the object that's left doesn't have any electrons left, so it has a positive charge. And the object that took all the electrons has a negative charge, because electrons are negatively charged. Because of this, these two objects attract because they have unlike charges. So, one more time, static electricity is the buildup of electric charges on an object. So when all the electrons build up on one object, it causes static electricity. Please remember to go back and look at the concepts and look at the definitions and remember to write them down in your note-taking device and we will discuss it more in class tomorrow. Make sure if you have any questions you write them down so that I can help you with them tomorrow. Make sure to review these ideas to help you better understand the material so that we can have lots of fun learning in class tomorrow.